Welcome, my friends, to another exciting lecture in Statistics, Module 1, Terms and Definitions. In this module, we're going to examine measures of central tendency. Central tendency is a term which refers to the middle value. That's what central stands for. So as we examine these terms about the middle, we will come across three ways of describing the middle of a population or a sample. Mean is the first. The mean is the numerical average. The next of these is median, which is the one in the middle. And then mode is the most common value. Learn these three terms and rock the land of nerd. Now don't panic. I remind you that I am going to explain these three uh, terms to help you understand them, and we will do them in a visual mode. What is the mean, you ask? Why, thank you for asking that question. The mean is the numerical average. What that means is that we have values that are numbers, we can average them. You will recall that to average, you add up and divide by the number you have. Sounds clear, doesn't it? Well, let's look at some pictures. Here we have five Girl Scouts lined up to sell the old dog Girl Scout cookies. Mmm, mmm. I love those do -si dos Now, what is the average height of these Girl Scouts? The little short one probably says this isn't fair. And she does have a point, but I will not ridicule her for being shorter than the others because she might talk about how ugly I am. And she will likely grow taller as she goes through life. I will always be ugly. She does have a point. What is the mean height of these Girl Scouts? Is the same thing as asking what is the average height? What is the mean height? The mean height is the average height. Now let's average the height of these Girl Scouts. In order to do that, we will take all five of them, have them lay end to end, and we will see what the total length of these Girl Scouts is, and then we will divide it by the number of Girl Scouts that we have. We come up with this average value over on the left. We draw a line across. And we notice that uh, some of these, two of these Girl Scouts are taller than the average, and three of them are less than the average. The amount above the average is equal to the amount below the average. That is why it's called the average. The mean for the population is called mu. And this is the Greek letter mu, that little squiggly thing there in red is the Greek letter mu. In statistical analysis, that Greek letter mu stands for the population mean. And the mean for the sample is called x bar. The mean for the population is mu. The mean for the sample is x bar. Now, don't faint on me. Here's the formula. And this reads this way. Mu is equal to the sum of, that little uh, squiggly thing there on the left with the n and the one is the Greek letter sigma, which stands for the sum of. That means add up all of the x's, starting with the first one, going to the nth one, and then divide it by n. Mu is equal to the sum of all x values from one to the last one, divided by n where n is the number of datum in the population, and x is equal to the value of each individual datum. You will notice in this that for the population, we use a capital N to stand for the number in the population, and we use a capital X to stand for the individual values. Mu is equal to the sum of all x from 1 to n divided by n. For the sample mean, we have this formula. Uh, x bar is equal to the sum of all x values starting from the first to the last, then divided by the number. You'll notice that for the population, we use capital letters. For the sample, we use lowercase letters. Lowercase n is equal to the number of datum in the sample, 
The lowercase x is equal to the value of each individual datum. Now all these formulas require is that you do what we did before. We add up all the values and then we divide them by the number we have. This is indeed some mean stuff. What is the median, you ask? Why, thank you very much for asking that. The median is the middle value when you place the values in a rank order. You notice here we have uh, the five Girl Scouts selling cookies, but we can't, we can't find the median yet because these Girl Scouts are not rank ordered. If you don't rank order them and you pick the middle, then you do not have the median. To find the median, we must rank order them, and we will start from the shortest to the high, large, tallest, or we could go from the tallest to the shortest. It doesn't matter. The median height is the middle value. Correct. This one right here. Now, as we uh, will go on, we might uh, notice that when we have an even number of these, uh, we have uh, have to have two that become the median, so we have to add those heights together and divide by two. When you had an odd value, it just turned out quickly to, to be easy to identify the one in the middle, but when you have an even number of datum, then uh, lo and behold, you have to add the middle two and divide by two. What is the mode, you ask? Thank you for asking. To find the mode, you have to identify the most common value because the mode is the most common value. In this case, we look at these uh, heights and we quickly notice that they have two at this height where each of the others only have one. So the mode is the value that occurs most often. There are three terms to know. The first of these is mean, which is the numerical average represented by mu and x bar where mu is the mean of the population, x bar is the mean of the sample. Median is the one in the middle, mode is the most common. Learn these three terms and rock the land of nerd. Now before we move on, I want you to recall some of the strikes that have occurred in athletics. The owners sometimes say the average salary is a million dollars a year. The players say no. The average salary is $100,000 a year. Well, the owners are using the mean, which adds together all the big salaries with all the little salaries, and one or two people making millions and millions of dollars pull the average up. The, play, the owners are using the median, which is the one in the middle when they are rank ordered. Now, if you will learn these terms, mean, median, and mode, and recognize the symbols mu and x bar, you have come far, my friend. In closing, I want to thank you very much for your support. Remember that your support keeps my family fed. And in order to honor you, I'm going to serenade you with a short musical rendition that describes me. Now, I want you to listen carefully. I'm just a common man. I drive a common van. My dog ain't got a pedigree. If I have my say, it's going to stay that way because high-browed people lose their sanity. I'll not quit my day job. You have a wonderful day.